Hello friend, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nerds video series on Array Interview Question Series and this is question number 3. And the question is, find the missing number in an array. And the condition is, if your array is having, let's say, size n, then the pattern of the elements would be, or the rule is, we have numbers from 1 to n. Okay? There can be any random as we can see that. So here, n is actually 5. Why? Because one number is missing from here. Okay? That's why n is 5. And what is missing? 4 is missing. We can see that, right? 1, 2, 3, 4 is not there and 5 is there. So total number of elements should be 5, but one element is missing and you have to find that element. So if you simply understand if your n is let's say 100, meaning from 1 to 100 elements should be there, but any of the element might be missing. Maybe 2 is missing, maybe 5 is missing, maybe 50 is missing, maybe even 100 is missing. Okay, it can look like 1 to 99 are perfect number. There is nothing missing in between 1 and 99, but then in that case, 100 is missing. Okay, or it is possible that you have 2 to 100, no missing. And if this is your array, then 1 is missing. Understood? And these numbers like 2, here we can have 5 and then we can have 3. So these are like randomly placed numbers. What do you think? How should we solve this? One way is you just sort these elements and then iterate over one by one and see if you can find one missing element. So if you'll sort this, it will like two, three, five. So you'll check this is first position. Is this one? Yeah. This is second position. Is this two? This is third position. Is this three? This is fourth position. Is this four? No, it is not. Then I am missing four in this. That's it. But sorting is like n log n okay so this is not a good solution let's see if this is the case then do we have any better solution one solution is summation formula n into n plus 1 divided by 2 so if your n is 5 here n is 5 right so 5 into 6 divided by 2 would be 15 and then you just go over this keep adding all these numbers then these numbers will be 11 subtract these two numbers and you will have 4 understood because this summation will add 1 to n all the numbers and if you add these and subtract with this result then you will know the difference right then that is the number which is missing but the problem is this n can be very big number and this can go overflow so the solution to that is, let me clean this. You loop through i to n and I mean 1 to n and just keep adding these numbers like if sum is equal to sum plus 1. Okay, so this is like a summation only summation rule n into n plus 1 divided by 2. How this formula works? Actually, it keeps on adding from 1 to n. So similarly, you also have to do from 1 to n addition in this sum. But just after this sum, you have to subtract these elements from it. So array of maybe i. So if you will look from the top that what exactly you are doing, you are going from 1 to n and keep on adding this 1 to n numbers using this i into this sum and from that sum you are subtracting let me write that like this see we are subtracting this array of i also so this will never go overflow because you are keep on subtracting the numbers as well so in the end when this for loop will finish what you will have in the sum the difference because you added everything and you subtracted everything one by one and what you would have not subtracted which is missing here right so let's suppose this is like 1 to 5 you would have added all the numbers from 1 to 5 in this sum using this line and you would have subtracted array of i from one position to fifth position but here you would have added 4 also somewhere but here you did not subtracted that so that 4 would still be there in this sum and once you are done with subtracting all the numbers, 
some will hold four so like this you will not have overflow and the very important point is that this is not a sorted array if it is sorted array then the solution is like order of n you just keep on running and find the number which is missing but this is not sorted that's why it is really very important question so thanks for watching guys bye bye take care i'll see you in the next videos